When we started this project, we were approached by the MRC, that's the Medical Research Council, and our other partners, the Association of Medical Research Charities. Um, and they asked us if we would be interested in developing a theatre of debate project around stem cell research. The reason why we were approached for that is because over the last 10, 12 years, we've developed nine theatre debate programmes looking at ethical issues that arise from advances in biotechnology. Started with the gift. Some of you may have seen some of our projects, I don't know. Um, which was a project which the Wellcome Trust approached us because they were looking for innovative ways of teaching science, making science sexy for young people. This was way before the curriculum changes and, and all those things. Um, <coughs> and they approached us and we said, yes, we'd like to try this. We've no idea, we're a theatre company, what science got to do with us. I mean, I failed my science O level. Um, but um, what happened was actually a very exciting project and one that certainly a lot of the formal evaluation suggests actually change perhaps the way certain scientists were looking at teaching that particular subject, which was inheritance. Um, and there is a DVD of that project, which was made by BBC Learnings. So it's still a resource uh, 15 years after we first did it. So that's kind of why we're here today, is we started a number of years ago with the Wellcome Trust, and uh, over that period of years, we've developed a whole canon of these theatre of debate programmes which look at the ethical issues arising from advances in biotechnology. Okay? And that's why the Medical Research Council and Association of Medical Research Charities approached us when stem cell, you know, the whole ethical debate around stem cell research was beginning to, to surface. Um, and the way we work, when um, we start developing a project, we don't do it in isolation. We, uh, we bring together experts um, who will have positions and expertise from a range of different points of view. So, for example, on this uh, project, um, the experts were Stephen Minger, Robin Lovell Badge, uh, who are both, I'm sure the science teachers will know, key researchers in, in stem cell technology and advances in that. Um, so they were our scientific advisors, if you like. Uh, Josephine Quintavalli, who is um, head of CORE, which is a family values organisation which has <coughs> particular views um, on um, stem cells um, and, and a whole number of other things, and is the person who is most often called to report to the House of Lords or House of Commons when you know, these issues are being discussed at committee level. Okay, could you find a partner, preferably somebody not, if you are two people from a school, preferably not from your school, so from another school, um, and then just grab a chair between the two of you and just, uh, we're going to work in pairs, decide who's going to be A and who's going to be B. Yeah. <laughs>